are in the heart of Dansk, at the area of the historical shipyard. It is the birthplace of one of the greatest social and non-violent political movements, uh, not only in Europe, probably in the world, because it is the birthplace of Solidarność. It is a place where the first time the world saw that some unknown uh, workers from Gdańsk are not fighting for their interests, but for civil rights, for universal rights. Z wielkości niebezpieczeństwa, jakie nam groziło. Przecież w samej Polsce było ponad 200 tysięcy żołnierzy sowieckich. Na około Polski było ponad milion. Silosy z bronią nuklearną rozstawiono. I my wywracaliśmy system komunistyczny. Bo jednak wyrwaliśmy wiele krajów z, tego, z, tego, z tej dominacji sowieckiej. A więc to jest pierwsze, największe zwycięstwo w dziejach Europy w tymi nowymi metodami. So that's probably the reason why this place is one of the lieux de mémoire of Europe. You have the monument of fallen shipyard workers, victims of the 1970 protest. It was the starting point for the development of the democratic opposition here in Gdańsk and Poland. It was one of the demands of solidarity of 1980 to commemorate officially the victims of 1970. It was erected in December 1980 before the martial law, and it was the first official monument for the victims of communism in, in, in the Soviet bloc. We have the gate, the historical gate. It was a sort of internet site or Facebook of Solidarność because at the gate the, uh, the tablets with, with the 21 demands was established, so it was the place of, of contact between uh, the striking committee and, and people. You have the hall where the agreement between Solidarność and the government was signed. And you have a new modern building of the European Solidarity Center, the, the place of commemoration, because we have a permanent exhibition about the solidarity movement, and it's also a place of modern reflections. Więc największe problemy pokazaliśmy, że należy rozwiązywać przy stole, należy roz, roz, rozwiązywać inteligentnie i argumentami, a nie siłą. It showed also that you can fight for your freedom thinking about the political situation of other nations. You can only be effective if you are not only thinking about your own interests. If you are thinking about the whole European order. So that's the philosophy of Solidarność.